Isn't it phenomenal when you get starting pitching? You say Kikuchi. We've talked about him getting that Cy Young Award. Well, he's on the right track right now with his first start of the year, stabilizing the Blue Jays' rotation. And the Blue Jays get a 4-1 win over the Kansas City Royals tonight in KC to even up this series at one game apiece. And the most important part is, let's be honest, they end this three-game losing skid. They were ugly games. Your starting pitching was tough. But Yusei Kikuchi settles things down. And we'll get de- we'll deep dive into him. Dalton Varsho goes deep for his first one as a Blue Jay. And I thought there was some f- fantastic stuff that happened today. Fantastic stuff. Here we go. Bottom of the second inning. Fred Mill Reyes. It's a solo bomb off of Kikuchi. Didn't like the pitch. It's fast, but I think it was a slider that was right in the middle of the plate. Gonna get crushed. Asking for it. It did. You're down one nothing. However, in that inning, he gives up the home run, a single, then it was a wild pitch, and it's like, it, things are unraveling. But then, fly ball to left, Varsho catches it, lines up perfectly, fires it home, one hop, right to the test of Danny Jens, who's behind the plate, receives the ball, gets in front of the plate, takes the guy out to end the inning. I don't know what would have happened if that run scored in the sense of the rest of the game, but it is so important when you can save these extra runs. What a play by Varsho, tagged by Jano, big play, Kikuchi was fired up about it, makes me fire up about it, because then Kikuchi, he fans the next six guys afterwards, gets them in order, right? And Dalton Varsho showing us all why he's an incredible defender. People are going to say, well, Gurriel going to throw that guy out. Would Gurriel have lined himself up perfectly to make that play? He probably would have had to slide for that ball or would have caught it on the side and maybe overthrown it or thrown it wide. Sure, the odd time he'll throw him out because he's in a bad situation. Varsho doesn't have the greatest arm, but he's got literally everything else. And in, for me, that's the most important thing. You line up correctly, you put yourself in the right spot, do you throw smart and, and one-hop it to the plate? Yeah, you got him. Beautiful play from Dalton Varsho. And the Blue Jays defensively. Because then what it does is in the top of the third inning, Bo gets on, Vladdy, Vladdy, well, he got, he he got on base too, right? He got a, he got a single as well. And uh, I think Bo went to third in the play, at first and third. Chapman, stay hot. Rips one through the left side for a base hit. Bo comes in, Vladdy tries to stretch it to third, gets thrown out. But you know, I like the aggressiveness there. Again, I'm fine with that. And people are going to say, whoa, you yeah, can't be too great. Look, if he was safe, we'd be praising him. He's out, we talk him down. You can't do that. I like the aggressiveness. I appreciate the base running aggressiveness from Vladi there. I would have liked, if you watch the replay, I don't believe he was going into second all that hard. So if he's thinking three, I like him right out, right out of, basically right when that ball connects with the bat, he takes off and he sees that it's gotten through. He's gone. Didn't look like that initially. It looked like he ran on second and thought, oh, maybe I can get to third and took off. You got to think third all the way and then break it down. That was just my one thought. I could be wrong. Well, you guys could think differently. Um, top of the fourth inning, Whit Merrifield gets on and he gets a, du- a double down the third base line. Then who was it that I think it moved him over? I believe with a sack fly or something like that. Then a wild pitch. Whit Merrifield comes in to score. Shout out for Whit Merrifield getting the staying ovation from the crowd. What a beautiful stuff. Love to see it. Love Whit Merrifield. And the Jays now have a lead. It's now 2-1. Fantastic stuff. Then the top of the six occurs. Oh, wait, hold on. What, when was the inning that you used like a coochie, had two on, and you got in some danger, and then throws like 97 mile an hour heat upstairs, like in a perfect spot to get a strikeout? Kikuchi was great tonight. He was very good. Then, top of the sixth, Dalton Varsho at the dish. Pitch comes in, and it's a ball away from a righty, and he drills it to left field, or right field, excuse, or left field, excuse me, and it's gone! Dalton Varsho, 27 bombs last year. None to the opposite field. The Jays get him in camp. They start changing, you know, tweaking things a little bit for him. And he takes it the other way for a bomb. We've seen him hit lefties decently recently, right? And then he goes deep there. Absolutely phenomenal stuff. Really, really good. Then, let's go to the top of the eighth. And Dalt Varsho doing it all today. Lefty on the hill. Guy at second. 
So you think, okay, with nobody out, well, I'm going to try and bunt to get him over. But, and we talked about it with Kevin Kiermeyer. he's so good at bunting for base hits, right? Dalton Varsho gets a drag bunt down, past because the, the key for a drag bunt is you got to get that ball past the pitcher. You do that, you're in fantastic shape. Because that makes the second baseman have to hurry in. And if you're a quick speed like a Varsho or a Kiermaier, that makes them f- forced to make a tough play. Varsho does that, gets the bunt down, it gets past the pitcher. He's boogieing in out of the box. The second baseman's got to come in and try and flip it to his, with his glove to the first baseman. And Varsho's safe! Right? Then Danny Jansen hits into a fielder's choice. Matt Chapman then scores. That extra 90 feet is so crucial. From Dalton Varsho. And the Jays pick up their fourth run there. And they win the ball game 4-1. I was incredibly impressed with Dalton Varsho in every aspect. Listen to what he did tonight. Made the defensive play. Got an outfield assist. Threw a guy out at the plate. Drag bunt. Successfully. You got the guy over and you were safe at first. And oh yeah, by the way, he went oppo taco with a bomb. I'm sorry, but how can you not like Dalton Varsho right now? Sure, Gabby Moreno. Sure, Lourdes Gurriel. You got to move on. It's sports. I love what we've seen from Varsho early in, in, his, in his career as a Blue Jay. His, this young, young, young season as a Blue Jay. But he's been outstanding. Let's get to the offense quickly before we break down Yusei Kikuchi a little bit more. Matt Chapman is remarkable. You know, he has that abysmal spring training. I'm listening to all these podcasts and everyone's worried about him because he's got this toe tap going on and everyone's freaking out. Matt Chapman's hitting over 500 this year. He's hitting near 600. Three for four today with a run scored in RBI again. Hell of a day for Matt Chapman. Dolph Varsha goes two for four. Obviously the home run and the drag bunt. An RBI uh, RBI run scored obviously on his home run. And don't look now, but even Kevin Kiermaier in that number nine hole he went two for four today. There's been like three games this season where he's already had two hits. 11 hits total for the Jays. Seven strikeouts, only walked twice, but they they got 11 hits. He only scored a left four runs. You would have loved to score more than that, but 11 hits is a very, very good job. The, the top three guys aren't quite hot yet. They're getting a few hits here and there. Bo had a hit and it came around to score. Vladi got a hit as well, but they're not hot. They're not doing what Chapman's doing with Dalton Varsha. They will. I'm not worried about them, but... When they're not doing it and you're getting these contributions from these guys and your Cy Young candidate, you think Kikuchi going out there doing his thing? Remarkable. The strikeout numbers weren't there for Kikuchi today, but he, his slider was down and he was working it. The only one that missed was hit for a home run. Yeah, a few fastballs missed here and there, but the key for Kikuchi, and this is, what, this is you got to give this guy love, man. You, you really do. He was scrutinized, beaten down last year. By the media, by the fan base. Hell, he was put into the bullpen at one point. If that ain't a a slap to the face, I mean, he deserved it. Don't get me wrong. But it's a big slap in the face. And for him to come back and put a good spring together and everyone's a little optimistic, but it's like, eh, it's spring training. Who cares? And yeah, it's Kansas City. Who cares? It's a big league roster. Barrios just got teed off on these guys yesterday. So let's let's not go anywhere about that. But he went five innings. It's what you want. Five, see you later. He pitched 69 pitches. You don't want to push him any further than that. Right? At least early in this season. Five innings, only had three hits. Struck out only two. Walked one. And let his defense do the work. Obviously, Varsha making some great plays. Kevin Kiermaier running down some big balls in in the outfield. Uh, (laughs) He did a great job out there in center. Great stuff. Jimmy Garcia went an inning in a third. Much, 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 much improved for him than his last outing, his first, obviously, outing of the regular season. He went an inning in a third, allowed one hit. That was it. And Tim Meza went an inning in a third, faced four guys, and struck out all four. <laughs> okay, great. Fantastic job, Timmy. And uh, the swan dog, uh, Eric Swanson, <laughs> he went a third of an inning. Uh, in this one, so great job from him. And Jordan Romano picks up the save, clean inning of work, no base runners, had a strikeout, save number two on the year for him. Great win for the Jays, much needed. It's beautiful when your starting pitcher gives you some length. And now, with Kikuchi giving you a good outing today, it turns your rotation over back to the big dogs. Now, Manoa, we're all excited to see again because 
N- not a great first outing for him, but now he's got KC in KC. Go out there and shove, big fella. He's got, uh, he's in the mound for the Blue Jays. Zach Granke gets the ball for the Royals tomorrow at 740 in game three of this four game series. We talked about it before. You want to get three of four. Well, you've now split it. You need to win the next two. We got Manoa and Gosman going. If anything, that's exactly what you want. All right. So you know what, guys? That is going to do it for this one. If you enjoyed the video and the W today, smack that like button. I do appreciate that. Hit the subscribe button. He has not already. Comment down below your thoughts on the video, your thoughts on the game, your thoughts on Chap, your thoughts on Dalton Bar Show or the Var Show. Ha, you like that one? And even though you know it's probably been used a lot already. And uh, you say Kuchi Cy Young Award coming soon. What are your thoughts on him today? All that stuff. Let me know in the comments down below. All right. And I will talk to you guys Raptors edition tomorrow night as they are in TD Garden today on the uh, Boston Celtics. 7 o'clock tip off there. At least 7 or 7.30. As for the Leafs, they're back in action as they take on the Bruins in Boston. All my notes are over there. I think it's a 7 o'clock there on Thursday. Yeah, Thursday night. And as for the Blue Jays, they're back in action tomorrow. 7.40 first pitch in Kansas City taking the Royals. Alec Manoa, Zach Greinke is the pitching matchup there. Thank you guys so much for listening and watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and the W today. We'll talk to you guys then.